Hello brothers and sisters, this is Lisa and I'm here to share the latest post from Allie Winters. This word was posted on April 30th of 2019 and the title is America Has Rejected God. America has rejected God. Her laws, her lifestyle attest to the fact that she now serves another. The following is written from a heavy heart burdened by the sins of America. As each day passes, the heaviness of my heart increases. Sheep slumber as America languishes in pornography, homosexuality, murder, and drugs. Eyes dimmed, Americans search for fun and frolic among the filth within American society. Weasels fill pulpits as the weak welcome their message of prosperity, tolerance, and unity among religions. The message of sin and sanctification, replaced by a kinder, more palatable gospel that tickles the ear but hardens the heart to the things of God. The church, called to be a beacon on a hill, a lighthouse for the blind has become a den of thieves, robbers whose agenda is power, relevance, and money. You measure success by the size of your pocketbook, your congregation, your programs. God measures success by your obedience to his word. Each day that passes, brings us another day closer to the judgments of God. Each day evil is allowed to roam freely up and down the streets and alleys of America. Sin enlarges itself. America has exchanged her roots for riots, her foundations for folly, and her God for good times. Abortion Gender identity, illegals, corruption have brought America to the brink of disaster. God, our only hope, lies buried somewhere between the pages of dusty old books that have little relevance or interest to today's citizen. Millions claim, I am a Christian, yet lifestyle choices and behavior speak otherwise. The remnant is small, small but powerful as we fall to our knees, acknowledging our dependence and love for Jehovah God. We are not ashamed of the gospel. We know the truth of the word and are not ashamed to take a stand for our faith. Weary warriors continue to fight in the midst of turmoil Fight. Fight when all seems lost and faith shaky. Fight, pastors, teachers, preachers of the truth, stand strong. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. And that's the end of the message. I just would like to say please call on Jesus today. He is coming so very soon and Every single day that passes by is one day closer we are to that twinkling of an eye happening. It'll be so sudden, it'll be so quickly, and so many people are going to be crying out and wanting to still hear these warnings and to still hear these messages, and at some point these will not be heard anymore. So please take the time and if you're one of those who are lukewarm or you're a non-believer or you don't have a relationship with Jesus, now is the time. Now is the time to call on him. Now is the time to repent of sins and to have a relationship with him. He's waiting. His word says all who call on the name of the Lord will be saved. And that is the truth. His word says it. Jesus tells us in the word that he is coming. 
and to be ready. Pray that we are accounted worthy to escape the things that are going to take place. So I'm just asking you, please, if you have not called on him, do this now. Time is running out. His return is imminent. We are going very soon. Please be ready to go at any moment. Anyway, you all have a beautiful day in the Lord. God bless each and every one of you. I'm praying for all of you and your families. I pray for all of my family as well and the lost. I pray for everyone. And I, I, I hope and pray that you all are doing the same. Let's do most of our fighting with prayer. Anyway, you all have a beautiful day. And I will see you either in the air or next video. Alright, take care. Bye-bye.